Hey there, Aquarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius for the week of January 30th. If this one doesn't resonate, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And if you want to order your own private reading, you can find that in the description box. My least expensive is $20. All right. So we have this Knight of Swords here. Typically, this is Gemini energy, but it could also be Aquarius. It could also be Libra. Knight of Swords tends to be like running away from the issue or avoiding the issue, kind of being in and out. Um, I would say there's probably a conversation that needs to happen in this connection. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. Pages are often about communication or messages. Um, sometimes they can be children. Uh, Page of Cups is typically a Pisces card. It could also be Cancer. It could also be Scorpio. In the reverse, it's blocked communication, maybe running away from having a, a conversation here or talking about what really matters. We have the Eight of Swords, uh, feeling stuck. Uh, this can also mean um, I'm engaging in self-limiting behavior and self-sabotage, kind of keeping myself small. Um, it also could just mean like this, this situation is stuck. It isn't going anywhere. And you may be questioning here, your person's questioning whether or not I should continue to give my time, my energy and effort to it with the Six of Pentacles. That's like, do I really want to put more time in here? Is any of that going to solve this issue? All right, let's check out your person a little bit closer. All right, so this is the Lightseer's Tarot. I'm going to be using the Radiant Wise to clarify at the end, I'll pull cards for how your person feels, as well as something that they're thinking here. We have the Chariot in Reverse, Major for Cancer. Chariot is about moving forward or its movement, momentum, and a connection. So again, this, this feels stagnant. It feels like it isn't going anywhere. For some of you, this could be a long-distance relationship. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is like, let's go like to the roots here. Let's plant some seeds for the future. We need to change up how we're doing things. Um, what, we're, what we've been doing isn't working. It's a change of approach or giving something more of your time or energy or effort. I would say that you and your person are like in an impasse right now. Okay. We have the sun, major for Leo. This can mean clarity. So the sun is a great card. It can mean warmth and joy and happiness. It's also like shining a spotlight on an issue. There's something here that I don't think the two of you are addressing or dealing with. Or Again, it feels like a conversation that needs to happen that isn't. All right, let me arrange these. All right, so what is going on with this person? Okay, we've got the death card. That is Scorpio energy. So I think you have some clarity and some change coming in this connection. Death is like we need to stop doing things that aren't serving us. We need to change what we're doing. We're going to have a rebirth in this relationship. So I do think you have big changes coming here. Probably because of some clarity with the sun. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. That is like it's movement, it's momentum, it's the messages. You may be having like a very deep conversation with this person, uh, one that brings clarity to both of you, um, making some changes here to the future to like 
the time, the effort, the energy that you guys spend in this connection or the energy that this person spends in the connection with that Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Three of Pentacles. So this is like working together. Um, sometimes it's like a teamwork card if it shows up in a career reading. It's uh, a friendship card. It's collaborating with someone, uh, having a deep conversation with someone, cooperation between the two of you. So again, I just feel like there's a conversation that you guys are avoiding and it's going to happen here, probably because it has to happen in order for this to move forward. Okay, let's clarify it. We have the Six of Wands. That's someone who wants a victory. Um, it's someone who maybe wants to get your attention, they want your affection, they want you to notice them. It can be someone wanting to like win you over. We have the Leo card. There's strength and the sun. There's lots of Leo energy. Even that, um, the Six of Wands there is a Leo card. So the Strength card in the Six of Wands, this may be someone who like puts on a brave face, uh, who puts up a kind of a front, and maybe they sort of avoid the things that are beneath or the things that need to be said here. Could be someone who holds themselves back. They don't say what needs to be said. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse, which is someone who really can't walk away from you or emotionally disconnect. This could be someone who like runs away and then they run back to you. There's kind of an uneven response. Whether that is like emotionally, whether that's actually physically, they're in and out of this connection with you. Um, their, their presence here may wax and wane. And we have the Seven of Wands. Very defensive behavior. Um feels a little bit like this person has their guard up or their walls up. And that makes it extra difficult to maybe talk about the things that need to be said. We'll do one more. Huh. We also have the Six of Cups. So you may have a very long-standing connection with this person. This is a card of the past. It could be a childhood sweetheart or you've been with this person for years. Or you have kids with this person. You want to have children here. That's also something of a soul recognition card. There is a very special connection here, but there's a lot of like putting on a brave face or having my guard up or my walls up and not letting someone in. So that is something to watch out for. All right, let's do feelings as well as something this person needs to say. All right, so how does this person feel about you? What are the emotions here? What are the current emotions? Page of Cups, that's a desire to talk. Earlier it showed up in the reverse. This is a Pisces card. Um, you could have kids with this person or you've known them since you were a childhood. This person could have like this pure, innocent love for you. Um, there is genuine emotion here. Let's do something they're thinking that they need to say. I've lost myself for a little while. I love you. I don't know that this person expresses love very easily. I hope I will see you again sometime. This person could have run away for right now. Let's do one more. The timing just wasn't right for us. So there could be a timing issue between the two of you or the time that you chose to talk about something or they chose to talk about something just didn't pan out here. All right. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. 
Uh, since it's your birthday, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a birthday reading if you um, are a member. Um, so look for that. Um, and you feel free to join if you would like. Hit the join button down below. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and the unknown, as well as a little bit of a birthday treat. Um, you can also order a reading down below. All right. Thank you so much and blessed be.